Tron store cooler than the Tron ride? Maybe. We're about to show you why this is the most popular new store in Disney World and Disney Parks and why I think it is a must visit now for any Disney World vacation. We're about to go enter the grid where an actual doll version of me will be made. There will even be a microchip with my voice doing activities. It has been jam-packed in there with people who aren't even fans just because it is so cool to enter the grid. Trust me, wait till you see, you're about to have your mind blown. Now it is never a dull moment here on LBB TV and my name is Maria. So let's get the party started. We gotta enter the grid. Let's go. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. I mean, look at that face, look at that face. This is so cool. That's right, that's gonna be my face soon, or it could be yours. I'm not gonna lie, this kinda looks intimidating. <laughs> like we're gonna be beamed up somewhere, but we are being beamed up somewhere. If you've seen the movie, that's where we're going. We're going into the program. And we have our awesome cast member, Mason, from Blackwood, New Jersey. Let's try to beat our thousand cast compliment record with Mason. Mason, I'm ready to enter the grid. Heads up guys, you cannot use your annual pass on this like the Avatar doll that became really popular on our page. Make sure to check out that vlog, but it's still worth it. Now, how it works is you get to pick your own outfit body configuration. Can you mix an enforcer's head with a sentry body? <gasps> All right, so you could be part combatant, part enforcer. That sounds really terrifying. And so while looking at these different body types, the sentry one looks really intimidating. They even have shoulder pads. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're in the NFL. And then I think the scout masks looks like Predator. So let's do Predator, the scout mask. Let me know in the comments what would you pick, your team color and your configuration, because you can mix and match. Now I pick my team color. Christina, what do you think I should pick? I kind of feel like orange, or maybe green. Enterprise? <laughs> what? So Christina goes, what do you mean green enterprise? This whole amazing experience is brought to you by Enterprise. <laughs> Let's be blue. That is what you do when you're on the ride in Tron, when you fight the other teams. Blue, I think, seems to win. Now, then I'm going to also have to learn how to do command inputs. There are going to be six lines that I am going to record myself. So one of the lines is, greetings, user. Oh my god, I sound terrible. Oh, this is, oh my god. Initiate light cycle run. I'm not your average program. See you on the grid. I fight for the users. Assemble the team. Unidentified users detected. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have the worst doll in history. <laughs> is there a mute button? No, there's no mute button. Are you ready to enter the grid? I'm ready to enter the grid. Yes, I got my, what is this called? My user key. I'm ready. Perfect. You got the digitation portal. So this is a digitation portal. Yes. You guys can both step in, okay. and then once this door is shut, you guys can touch the screen again, and then it'll instruct you to pack your digital key. So right now we are in the uh, digitizing portal, and in this booth, as you can see right here, we have the Tron Identity Program. I'm going to use this user key, and basically it's kind of like you're on your own, but there is a cast member there to help you. What's going to happen is they're going to capture three different images of my face, doing something. Let's practice. Urgh, urgh. So mean. Smiling. I'm very confident, Maria. Oh no! Should that be my three faces? While I'm in here, also I'm going to choose my body type like we saw earlier. Different forms of what my helmet might be, the color, but they also are going to have me say the lines. They said you get three tries because if you're bad at it, good luck. Are we ready to enter the grid? Oh, I already broke it. I think I already broke it. Hey, you know what? No, touch to begin. All right, very important, touch screen to begin. Do not use your card. Oh, let's see what's happening. User login key, tap user key for access. Access granted. Oh my goodness. Welcome user. In this experience, users will digitize themselves into a program of their choosing. In this process, users' image and voice will be captured. Users will also select their program helmet, body type, and team color. For optimum digitization, please stand on the disc and look straight ahead. 
Okay, disc, disc. You are making three facial expressions. Okay. Follow the visual guide for optimal capture. Okay. So, what do I do? This is weird. I'm on the thing. I feel like this is... Change? Oh, change... Oh, that's interesting. It says change camera high, low. Oh, for babies! For oh, babies! So yeah, what if my face was just the shirt, guys? <laughs> <laughs> my face was just the shirt. That's a terrifying face. Can I do it again? Now we continue, and now I'm going to do a different face. Um, oh, it's letting me be more up close. They realized something was wrong. They were, <laughs> they were like, why does your face look so tiny? I think I keep it. I That's think so I think I keep this. Oh, I like this one. This is the Maria is up to something face. Hey, okay, heads up, it gets really hot now here. Select your program's helmet. Okay, so now I'm going to be selecting the program helmet. I wanted that like scary predator one. I'm gonna go for that. You will now select your program's body type. Ooh. I like the scary one. So that's neat. They're all going to light up in some capacity, some more than others. Uh, so again, you can mix and match. You do not have to put the helmet that matches with the body type. I like this one because again, it looks very intense. So full disclosure guys, we're not sure what we want as our color. So we're actually watching one of the dolls change outside. The green looks cool. The purple looks really neat. I might actually do purple. The red looks cool. Oh, even the blue looks neat. Oh, this is hard. What do I pick? I know pink is really threatening, but it seems to come out as purple. Um, okay, I'm going to be pink. I think it came out purple outside, but we're gonna find out. We might have a pink doll. So this is where I have to fix how I speak to not sound lame. I could sound like a robot doing this. Unidentified users detected. <laughs> the moment you hit record, it records. I learned this the hard way already. See you on the grid. See you on the grid. Oh, so it even voice modulates you. So even though I sound stupid, it makes me sound cool. Thank you, Tron. Initiate light cycle run. Initiate light cycle run. Congratulations, Houston. You have now completed the Tron Identity Program. Your program will be available for retrieval at the extraction point later today. Oh. Now begin to close. End of the line. Oh! Okay, says so please exit now. Oh my god. It was it was scary. Was it scary? The grid was scary. Back. Yes, I made it. We made it. We made it back. It is time. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna tap my locating my file. Retrieving data. Stuff's happening. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh my goodness. How cool is this? First off, the box itself is so cool. Now, what you do is you take it out from the bottom and it's even a clear bottom. They actually recommend if you are a fan and want to keep it as a memento in your office or on something, you can actually put a light source here and it's going to light up the arcade game. This is the Maria Tron doll and it is so cool. Again, the pink kind of comes out more like a purple magenta. Hey, whatever they did made me sound really cool. The main thing Chris told me to come home with today wasn't this, but he said this. Because now this can go ride that, and then me and my husband can race each other with our own Tron dolls. Well, 
something, a user program interface. How cool, again, their, their bodies move, they can be placed on these, I am so excited. And the remote control, so me and my husband can race each other. Who's faster on the grid? Let me know in the comments. Is it Chris or is it me? I think it's me. Before we get into the crazy merch like this, that is an actual uh, interactive disc and it even has a Bluetooth speaker that will play music or your name. So say you want to listen to Daft Punk, you take this, lights up, does cool things, you then put it on the backpack and literally you have a dance party. The backpack is super affordable, it's nice and giant, but they get you there. But again, it's like a Bluetooth speaker with a stereo, so I mean, that's pretty good actually. Good price. Yeah, I gotta say, if you're getting your own stereo system. I thought it'd be cool to try on this, but man, for the Florida heat, it is a scuba suit. Literally, the fabric is insane. There's also something really hard in here, which makes me think this lights up. All right, let's see how this works. <laughs> I don't know how this lights up. There we go. Then I, then I just have to thank the Can you imagine, and at night, just look, it's so cool. How does it work so it goes on? Yes, yeah. so you're gonna place it on. You can buy the identity chip. Um, we have like the different characters, so it would change the code that this lights up, and then it would have obviously it this. It would like have the characters' phrases. So be um, talking to you. Yes, and this is also a speaker, so it's a speaker. So can you play music? Bring your backpack. You could, yes, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Can you imagine? Yes. Oh my god. Just like have like a dance party. Be like. Oh. Hannah was just telling us when I get to do the Tron identity program, that's that doll-looking thing. My voice will be interactive. So literally, I will terrorize all of Magic Kingdom <laughs> as my voice plays on my back, going like, enter the grid. It's like karate chopping. This is so cool. I didn't know what they were. I was like, are these like those sippy cups that like expand and you know go up and down? No. First is a Sam Flynn identity chip. And I was like, what is, oh, and then you look up close, there's the chip. So these are the different characters who will interact. So this is the Rinsler chip. I'm guessing based on red, evil. So then we have Clue here. Clue is very famous in the whole program. And then we have Cora. Over here, we found some awesome merch. Check this out, a light up photo frame. I feel like this is an award you won from JD Power and Associates. Here's the JD Power and Associates Award or the Tron JD Power and Associates Award. Okay, so we found these. Uh, it is a Tron light cycle, in theory, multiplayer game. And Christina made a good point. How do you multiplay? You race like this. <laughs> so you just start running and then whoever runs faster. Yes, I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Something yellow, happened. Oh. Red. So these, are, you could change it all the different it's, colors. Maybe it's like Simon says the game. We're gonna race. It's a workout. It's like a kettlebell. Yeah. That's right, Hannah. I'll take the disc. That is so cool. It is a light up water bottle. Does that mean it doesn't heat up, right? No. <laughs> this thing way too expensive for seventy dollars. This is a thirty dollar water bottle. But I think again with the cool lights. That's that's worth it. This looks like if you sit from the wrong angle, it's gonna go. <laughs> I think the kid stuff is always better. Disney always makes the kid stuff cuter. Like that's for kids. I would wear that, but it's for children, and they don't have for adults. Battle to the end, Team Orange, or Live to Race, Team Yellow. Here at the Maid section, Made to Order, you can actually make your own Tron Magic Bands with your name, your own AirPods. Phone cases, Apple watches, magnets. Are the pants for sale? And the boots? Because I'm sold. It's amazing. And even if you don't care about merch but love a good laugh, go watch those other merch vlogs. Trust me. Is that a bowling bag? Oh, it's for the helmet. All right, so this is really heavy. Does it do anything? So I see speakers here. I feel like it should light up, but then probably you would like lose it. It'd be like over century low. So this is seventy dollars. It only plays music, and I mean you could just wear headphones. <laughs> it's really weird. I don't like it. <laughs> this does light up. My head was the key. If you're looking for an affordable gift to take home, the magnets are actually very big. They're nice and heavy, great as like paperweights to or decor in your office. I was like, what is $64? 
Wow, okay, it's the Magic Band Plus. So by the way, if you didn't know, Magic Band Pluses are getting more and more expensive constantly. They started at 34, then they went to 40, then they went to 50, now we're at $64.99. <laughs> we're looking for more limited edition things that are uh, more affordable. This is actually a limited edition pin that lights up and glows in the dark and it's big. I mean, look at Christina's hand with it. Also, this is another limited edition item, opening day. And we found another section that is all the cool vintage 80s arcade style merch. We're talking from the original movie. Uh, let me know in the comments, have you seen the original movie? And hey, you can even get a Frisbee. That's gotta be affordable, right? Yeah, nine dollars. So at first I thought this was, what's the thing that Marty McFly flies on? The hoverboard? It is not. It's a wall sign. I have to say my favorite thing, honestly, about the shop has actually been all the friends we've made. So what's really neat is everybody's been so excited that like the movie Tron, whether the first one, the second one, and we've actually made a ton of friends today. So it just goes to show even hanging out in the Disney stores can be a blast. Say hello to somebody. Trust me, you'll make friends like that here in Disney World. What? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought that said Lake Point of Visitors. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, more more Lake Buena visitors. And this is really cool. At first I thought it was like an actual arcade, rock'em, sock'em, something. No, no, it's actually the arcade box, um, the original, with the characters. So again, it's more for like a collector if you uh, love the movie. Definitely a collector's item. This kind of reminds me of the Love and Thunder hat they had for Asgard. I don't know, I don't know about that one. Let's see, any other cool hats? Yeah. You know, the Flynn's one is cool. I would say that's my favorite. So I've never done the made to order thing. I got really confused. I was like, huh? I was like, that is not part of the movie. I get it. Did you guys know you can make your own t-shirt? All right, maybe that's what we do. That's really cool. Making your own shirt looks way better. It is very expensive. Um, you know, it starts at you know $24.99 for a t-shirt. The one problem with these kind of shirts, just heads up when you make these, it's called digital printing. What happens is the quality doesn't last forever. It kind of falls apart, it's really dull. And then it's actually the majority of apparel out there right now, unfortunately. This is all screen printed, it lasts forever. Um, so you don't have to worry about you know the decal or the you know actual graphics uh, coming off and, and falling apart or losing its awesome colors obviously everything you see us make here at shop LBV everything's screen printed it lasts forever um, it, uh, you can wash it 8 million times let us know in the comments if you ever bought something from us how you liked it how it held up I think of you guys as family whenever you're ordering something I want to make sure you have something you'll enjoy for decades to come these are the non limited edition Tron magic bands and even these are like $45 oh Disney you're killing me this is by far one of the coolest things I've ever done on Disney property in Disney World, any Disney parks. How awesome is this? I have people even saying they would just buy the box because the box is so cool. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Would you do this experience? Even if you're not a Tron fan, just again for the really cool, really rare, unique doll. But I mean, again, it's a program user. I mean, it lights up and everything and it goes on uh, motorcycles, it goes on adventures and it talks and it's your face and video and talking and moving. This is amazing. Literally, we are the last to leave the shop. We are the most diehard fans here, that's right. Um, but that's our cue to head out. The park doesn't even close yet, it's another hour. But I think nobody's here, which is in my mind saying, that's probably my cue to leave. Let me know if you had fun watching this vlog, what your merch favorite item was. I can't, make, I think I wanna get the backpack though. I think the backpack with the playing music is a definite. Who doesn't want that, even regular life? You just be walking around your town being like, oh yeah, oh yeah. And again, if you had fun with us and you laughed with us, make sure that like and subscribe button, but also share this out. Trust me, make some happy memories with others and make them laugh and smile. That's always my goal anytime you're watching us because we have so much fun no matter what we're doing here on LBV TV and I'm just blessed to have you along for the ride. Here on our channel, we never say goodbye, just like Mickey, we say, see you real soon. Because when there's fun to be had, there's never goodbyes. But we are entering the grid. So maybe it's light cycle out.